plus. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. Cause I love you, baby. I can't let you go, baby. I gotta tell you that I won't. because I'm going to meet the crew um, but we did make it to our layover and good news is we're in a cute little town bad news is we don't have a refrigerator for all of our food and I packed so much food for this trip and here I am going to eat on the first day <laughs> about 2 30 now and it was an early early morning but you guys i'm on my first three day i'll have to go back and look it's been months since i've had a three day but i'm in good spirits we're in good spirits i'm feeling my crew my crew is really cool the layover is super cute or the first layover so i'll update you guys and give you a room tour whenever we get back we're gonna go try to find some seafood which should be good Super quick little fit check though, because you guys know I have to support my bestie Sid. She is a flight attendant as well, but also owns a boutique and we are wearing all Finleys. These Sunnies are from Finleys, they're like 24 bucks. And this dress, let me show you guys. I think this is gonna be like my new layover outfit if I continue doing three days. <laughs> Okay, there's a light. This is, the brand is Z Supply, and I can never find dresses that are long enough for me, so I was sold as soon as I tried it on. It is on, it's a little pricier, but it's worth it. I think it costs like $89, but the way I justify it, I'm going to wear it 89 times, and this is already, I just bought it, and this is already the third time I'm wearing it. And then these sneakers are just from Amazon. And then I'm bringing, I decided not to bring a purse. Sometimes it takes up a lot of space in my bag. So I brought, I got this from Italy when we went for the wedding. And it's like one of those little cheap stands. You can buy like a bunch of different stuff, very touristy stands. But I thought this was so stinking cute. We're gonna put on a little perfume. I got this from TJ Maxx. Sometimes I'm like, does it smell old lady, but. It's a cheapy perfume and I think it smells pretty good. Mmm, <laughs> that smells good. I like the way it smells. Definitely need to freshen up. Because, what was this? <laughs> I normally shower, like as soon as I get to the hotel, but it's been a minute. Maybe we should freshen up on some deodorant too. I just got this from Publix. It was, um... It had a coupon, so it was on super sale. And you guys know, if you watched my most recent video, I was talking about those apps. The Yuga, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh-oh. Now that I'm reapplying it, I see that it looks like I have a little bit of a rash underneath my arms, like in my armpits. <laughs> so maybe it's not good, but it was approved on both apps. But it could be from my uniform too, so we'll see. Or maybe it just, my body needs to adjust, so. I'll keep you guys updated. It's called, I guess that's pronounced Hume. I don't know, but it had like all good ingredients. It's uh, aluminum free. And like I said, it, and cruelty free. I love that. But like I said, it was approved on both of those apps, which is always a good sign.
The worst part about working out on layover is getting sweaty because then my hair, like I washed my hair last night to prep it for the three day trip because that would be such a hassle to be able to bring or to have to bring like my shampoo and conditioner and blow dryer. So I always wash it before a three day trip. But then if you go and work out, you get so sweaty and then I get in the shower and it gets all wet and there's not much you can do with short hair. So it's probably gonna be a little funky tomorrow, but it's okay. You guys, today was such a good day. My crew was so great. I was A-line, so I worked lightly today. I worked the 717. We were on the same plane all day, which is such a blessing because when they put us on different planes, that takes up time and they have to add in that time for us to get to gate to gate. And then it goes, it like takes away from our layover. So since we were up so early and we had the same plane all day, we got to the hotel at like 1.30, which was chef's kiss. It was so great. Um, all the pilots were great. And then of course, like when we got here, I told you guys I went out with the crew. Ugh. It's like I still do these pads so you can still get makeup off. We went to a little seafood restaurant on the water, which I got some footage for you guys. We went down like all these, um, I don't know if I said we're in Wilmington, North Carolina. This is actually my first time here. It is so cutie. I told DB I could actually live here. I love the water. Supposedly, I don't know if you guys, any of y'all are Outer Banks fans. That's, it's a show. I've never seen it. Um, I hear good things about it, but DB has watched all of it and supposedly a lot of it is filmed here and also in Charleston. Um, but it definitely gives those vibes. We were eating by the water and it was so peaceful. Um, and then there's also a lot of history here, like all these old homes, which I'm a sucker for old, beautiful homes. So we walked around some more, got some ice cream, looked at all the houses and I got a few videos of some of the old houses, but I probably looked creepy filming these people's houses because people lived there and they were like people home. Um, and then I went and completed my workout. I got like a full body workout in and then I walked on the treadmill to meet my 10,000 steps for the day. I'm just having a good day. I am really proud of myself. I'm feeling good. I think it's, you know, just getting out of the house. I love to come home, be with DB, Mavi, sleep in my bed. But I wasn't able to drop this trip, but getting closer to it, I was like, I'm really not mad about it. I was like, I'm kind of excited to like get out and see a new place, meet some people because all my crews, I see them and leave them. So I haven't really had that opportunity to like bond with anyone in a while. So I was excited leading up to this. So I'm very, very happy. I also just put, so I've got this new, I've used this brand before, but you guys know I'm obsessed with my apps. I told you the Bobby approved and you go, y'all gonna hear me talk about them nonstop. All my friends and family are annoyed with me because I haven't shut up about it, but my mind is just blown by how many bad things there are. And also I will buy, you can sell me anything. So I buy from all these influencers that put this stuff out there and no hate to them because I would do the same thing when you don't know. But a lot of the stuff that I bought, I scanned and it's so, so bad for you. Anyways, long story short, not everything from this brand is amazing. But this face lotion was rated 100 out of 100, which is very rare. So supposedly it's very safe. I recently just bought this one. I bought from this brand. I heard good things about it and I scanned it and it was rated so bad. And I spent like between all the skincare stuff, I spent like 200 and something dollars. Um, it's done great. I'm still gonna use it and like finish it out because it was expensive, but I ended up getting this and I'm kind of filtering between the two. Um, but yeah, this one was rated 100 out of 100. You can buy at Target or CVS or Amazon. And I love the way it makes my skin feel. I truly do. Um, okay, so we're just getting ready for bed right now. I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like 8.30 or something. And our van pickup is at 4.50 a.m. in the morning. I'm literally 
going to freak like how am I gonna wake up at 4 a.m. I'm going to die <laughs> I'm being I'm being dramatic it's gonna be fine but tomorrow is gonna be a long day for us like 4 50 a.m. is our a.m. pickup time we have four legs and the first three I think is express no service, no service, and then we go to Houston, and Houston is a full service. They did a sturdy with this trip, you guys. Like, it's a three, four, three day, which is like three flights, four flights, three flights, and today was either no service or express, which is so super easy, and then tomorrow, the first three, express, no service, and then they end it with a Houston, which is so long, and then our last day, go home day, they are all full services and it is the longest day of the trip, <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, like I said, the crew is really great. So I can't even believe I forgot to tell you guys, we had a medical today. Oh my gosh. And I'm going on like seven minutes of talking. So I've, I've got to stop. Um, so that was wild. I get the call from the flight attendant in the back and he's like, I have an emergency. I need help back here. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then he just hung up the phone and I'm like freaking out. And he was the only flight attendant in the back because only one, it's a three crew trip. So only one flight attendant in the back. Since I'm flight leader, I told the other flight attendant to go back there and I was gonna call the pilot and just let him know that we do have a medical, blah, blah, blah. So she goes back there, I call the pilot and I was like, I'm gonna get more information, but stand by. So then I go back there and this poor lady, she's pregnant and she um she fainted and with her being pregnant it was really nerve-wracking but thankfully we had a physician on board who was so so helpful um but yeah she said she stood up and she just like blacked out she was going to the bathroom and she fell face forward and she got off in atlanta but then she ended up booking a flight to go back home so she could like go see her doctor and check in everything but she was okay everything was fine physician checked in with her we checked in with her um we called dispatch and all that kind of stuff so but thankfully she was okay I think she was just a little shaken up but <sighs> medicals are never fun but I'm thankful that everything was okay degrees in Houston right now. It has been a day. If you can ever afford, avoid working four flights in one day, avoid it at all costs. Y'all know I love my four flights when it's just like a day trip and I go home, but four flights on a three day trip, it's a whole nother ball game. I am, I'm pooped. It was an okay day. Um, no medicals, no mechanicals, nothing crazy. We got through all of the, we got through all the flights smoothly. We did have a three hour sit in Atlanta though. So this morning we worked Wilmington, to Atlanta, Atlanta to Panama City, Panama City back to Atlanta, sat for three hours, and now we're in Houston. It'll be five o'clock before I know it. Like we just got to the room and I think it's four or something. I don't know. So I'm probably about to go ahead and shower, get comfy, and cook my lunch, I mean my dinner. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. I just want to sit for a second. I'm so tired. My legs hurt. I feel like I need to elevate them. Oh man. The hotel is really nice though. I wanted to give you guys a little room tour. It's pretty cute. I really like this bed setup. I like that. Isn't that nice? 
And then we got the couch over here, the window, and then the bathroom is back there. Okay, you saw the room tour. <laughs> that was pretty easy. I'm kidding, I'll show you guys the bathroom. The bathroom and the shower are really nice as well. Tomorrow, I told you guys, is gonna be pretty tough, so I really need to rest tonight. I wanted to go to the gym and like get my 10K steps in or go walk around outside, but I don't think I can. I don't think I have anything left to give today. You know, with this job, my toxic trait is thinking that I always deserve to eat out after working all day. I'm like, I've been in a plane all day. I've been working inside, like not seeing the sun or daylight all day. And I'm mentally and physically drained. I deserve to spend money on a meal. I always feel that way. But I did bring a lot of food and I don't need to spend money. Good news is there is a fridge in this hotel. So we've got a fridge. I found some dry ice on the plane <laughs> that wasn't mean like they were done using it. I put that in my lunch box and it refroze all of my stuff, which was really nice. Like my ice packs. While we were on our sit, you know I'm tired when I take a nap because I'm not a nap girly. But while we were on our sip, our, our sip, I can't even speak. While we were on our sit, I took a 30 minute nap. They say like you feel really groggy when you take more and I feel like I usually wake up pretty groggy. So I was like, I'm gonna only do 30 minutes. I set a timer and I kind of scrolled on my phone for a long time for like those first two hours. And then like leading, like once we were getting close to time to go to the gate, that's when I set my alarm and like laid in the chair. I was literally like this in the chair and I did fall asleep set my timer, I had my headphones in for when it went off, and whenever I got up to leave to go to the gate, I literally walked off without my bags. Like, I just left my bags. <laughs> I guess I was, like, still foggy and waking up. Like, I don't know. I got to the elevator, and I was like, wait, where's all my stuff? I already made a mess putting my stuff out and opening the soap, but I wanted to show you guys the bathroom. Pretty cute, and this shower looks really nice. Oh, I like this little shower door. That's nifty. Alright, we're about to shower really quick and eat some dinner. If I can figure this knob out. Oh no. Oh, I hate it. Okay, there we go. Ooh, look at that water pressure. Dinner is served with a view. We're gonna sit on the couch and try to watch some daylight, or get some daylight, I guess. <laughs> I know this doesn't look very appetizing, but it's one of those Amy meals I told you guys about. It's approved on both apps. I ate one for lunch today. I brought three of them with me, so we'll have the other one for lunch tomorrow. All right guys, we're about to get some shut eye. I'm so stinking tired. I can't believe I lasted this late. It's nine o'clock. That'll give me like seven hours of sleep, but I just walked in the bathroom and my eyes are bloodshot. Like this can't be good that I've been awake this long. Oh my goodness, they hurt so bad. I brought the sleep mask with me this time. I've never done it, but it's like a, a weighted sleep mask and it just goes over your eyes. I bought it from Anthropology like forever ago on sale. I bought one for me and for DB, but I've never brought it with me, so I brought it. I used it last night. It wasn't the best sleep in my life, but I had the TV on still in the background and that's never good when you're sleeping, but I get so scared sleeping at night in a hotel room, so I always leave the TV on, but this one has a timer. So I'm gonna set a timer and then use a sleep mask so maybe it'll help me. Our van pickup is four. <sighs> oh my gosh, our van pickup is 4.51 a.m. So I'm gonna get some shout out. Oh goodness, I'm so tired. All right, y'all, see you in the morning.
We're going on day three of unwashed hair. It's always a struggle on the third day. Like I wash it before coming on my trips, but I don't even want to see the back of it. So nobody look at the back of my head. Alright. That is our alarm to head downstairs. Which we are right on time. Go me. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't know where we're going today. I know we go back to Atlanta and then we have another turn, but I really don't know where we're going. But I know it's a long day because we have full service on all three flights. And you guys know I love flying 717 and that's what we've been flying this whole trip. I have recently started having the same pilots. So fun fact, of course we have the same crew no matter like how many days your trip is unless something happens and they call out or something. Um, well, I gotta go. But we don't usually keep the same pilots. But I've had like the same pilots over and over again and I'm like I know you we never remember each other's names but we definitely like all recognize each other because I fly the 717 a position all the time but I'm excited it's kind of nice like meeting like it's almost like you have co-workers you know I mean you do but you know like you're becoming friends with your co-workers like one of the pilots that's on our trip right now I was like remember when we had um we got delayed in New York and like me and you and the whole crew like all went to breakfast. It was just like, it's cool because you start to like, I don't know, you actually like know each other. <laughs> so that's been kind of cool. But of course, once we get back to Atlanta, we won't keep those pilots and we'll get another set of pilots. But all of our pilots have been so great on this trip. So that's really nice. All right, we're going to go. We got three legs today. It's 4.52 right now. You can see. And I'm hoping maybe they'll have coffee downstairs. They didn't have it at the last hotel and I was super bummed. I have not had coffee. This will make day three that I've had zero coffee. Derek was like, just buy some. And I was like, I refuse to buy some at the airport. I've heard that Starbucks went up on their prices and now it's like almost $8 for a tall size. So not gonna happen. First flight of the day, we're already delayed. I did not realize my camera is about to die and I didn't charge it. Happy Friday, you guys, and happy National Donut Day. We are back at the airport. You know, my three-day trip ended on Wednesday, so I had yesterday at home and it was the potato day. It was a complete potato day for me. Like, I was so tired from the three-day chair up, so I slept in. I was I did get my workout and my steps in and all of that kind of stuff but you know went for multiple walks but it was just one of those days where I didn't really do much of anything I tried to rest up because I knew I had this trip so we are doing a Seattle turn tonight it is currently noon so my report time is one I've got to walk over to B shed we don't get home until we land tonight at like 1 40 a.m. so it's a long day this one's worth a lot. It's like a 10 hour credit day. So it's like a 10 hour flight day. Take a bite of this donut. Mmm. We love International Donut Day. Oh, it matches my nails. That's cute. Definitely not my typical type of flying because it's a long, long day. We're on a 739 today, which I actually like. I was worried that it was gonna be a 321 and I just don't like that plane. A lot of flight attendants do, but I don't. I think the bins are the worst. They fill up so quickly. Then people get, you know, their panties in a wad cause they're upset cause there's not enough bin space, but those bins do not hold a lot. And I don't love where the jump seats are. So we are on the Boeing 739 today. And I'm curious to know what meals we have. Cause obviously with it being a long 
flight, we're going to have meals to serve in first class, and then we will also have meals, the flight attendants and the pilots as well. So I get excited. I get excited about food. I get excited to try the new food that we have on the plane because I never work these flights, so I don't see a lot of the food. So it's always, I feel like it's always something new and different whenever I do work these. So we shall see, but let's get the day started. And then tomorrow we relax, hopefully by the pool. I'm hoping that we can go over to our friend's place and they have a pool at their apartment complex and kind of chill and hang out and then grill out for dinner or something. I'm losing my mind. So for some reason, three times today, I've like misplaced something or done something weird. Like I'm not thinking straight. And I'm sitting here like just looking in the rear view mirror, making sure, you know, my hair is okay before I get out of the car. And I did not put mascara on my bottom lashes, like on one. I did it on this one, but not on this one. Oh. And since it's just a turn, I didn't bring my makeup with me. I feel like it's not super noticeable. So hopefully nobody will see anything. But I'm just like, what is happening? Before I left the house, I misplaced something of Mavi's and I like left his food out. And I was like, why did I do that? Cause I fed him early this morning, but I like left his food completely open. I misplaced his scooper. I still don't know where it is. DB said he would look for it. And then now I'm in the car and I forgot mascara on my left eye. My left, your right, I guess, but um, okay. So hopefully nobody will notice. I don't know. All right guys, it's officially midnight. We are in the elevator headed to the bus. I'm so tired, but honestly it really doesn't matter. I've been looking for love so true When I was down and down along came you Though you might be a liar and a cheat too I just can't quit you now cause I love